Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. Um, it's pretty cold out here. It's January, 2023, just a couple days into it. Uh, from my SEO guy, this is gonna be EV Tesla charger plug. I've done a lot of videos on this in the past, but what I wanna focus on for this is the new IRC code requires us to have some sort of raceway. I'm assuming they meant a three quarter at minimum, but to me, that's not enough. That's not large enough in diameter. So first developed, it was kind of discussed two years ago, two and a half, maybe three, in the 2017 code, where they were talking about um, wanting a detached garage that would entertain a circuit large enough to charge an E-volt plug in a level two. Um, here's some common sense, especially for you electricians and Whoever wired this house three years ago definitely had no common sense as an electrician. Um, if you're gonna put in an FMC conduit, a flexible metallic conduit tubing, you gotta pay attention that you can't have more, but code is, is, is four 90 degree bends in a termination point A to B. So if you're gonna be putting in five to six 90s, even four, it's not gonna work. Um, I have a self wire fish tape that's plastic vinyl. It works beautiful, but you know, it only works with about three 90 degree bends. And so that means when you're sweeping down that wall and you're going into that header, I'll show you in the garage and you're trying to loop around the basement and go down. Thank God that wasn't drywalled. I had to go down just right behind this wall in the basement is a panel about 40 foot away and it's all open. Um, so basically we had to cut off the flex about five foot down. I, I couldn't get over all the crap downstairs, but cut it off, put a bushing and then take the fish stick up or the fish tape, tie onto it and then pull it. The guy didn't put a string either. And listen, if you're going between buildings, you can't use those couplings from Home Depot or the box store, Amazon. You got to use a bell end. You got to glue it, twist it, lock it and then make sure you use a heat box in order to bend your pipe. Um, again, you're trying to do that with minimum 270, 300 degree of bends, but not tight bends. When we're talking 10, 15 degree bend sweeps, that's allowing you to push through that raceway later. If you're gonna be doing a garage like this down to a basement and there's drywall, you might have to set a box every 270 degree bends and put a four and 11 sixteenths and do a one inch FMC minimum. Because there's, I, could, I couldn't even get a 6.3 NM cable through that, even if it was THHN with three number sixes and a number 10 or a number eight ground. Um, so keeping that in mind guys, that if you're putting in any type of raceway to get to it later, you're gonna have to make sure that size appropriate. Now, why the inspectors don't pick him apart on something like that? If I was an inspector, I would definitely be like, uh-uh. You're gonna redo that. I can't make him put in a one inch, but I could make him pull it out and put in only a few sweeps to make that easy for the next guy and ask him to put in a, a string so they can pull their fish tape down and pull back up through their fish tape with the wire. Um, so anyways, this is the Tesla plug here that we did. This is the newer style. You cannot adjust them now. So they're basically probably only pulling 32 amps though their instructions say 48 amps yeah i'd like to see that the adjustable ones that go a b c d e f g those are the ones that you can adjust up to 80 amps the new ones this is like the second one i've installed they're not doing that anymore so attentively a six gauge copper is good they stayed a number four hey tesla hello i mean think about it you guys are maybe charging three to six hours on a level two possibly eight, but is your wire really going to melt on a THHN black wire or a solid type stranded wire, and it's going to be a 90 degree Celsius rating. And sure, Article 334 says to derate it down to 60% or 75. Guys, this is an A to B wiring. It's, it's 40 feet of wire, copper. There's no way a six gauge is going to melt. Um, and so they wanted a number four, copper 
Um, hello, I don't think you guys know how much that costs in the market right now. And the wire has still not gone down, by the way. So if you see this video 10 years from now, uh, yeah, in 2033, who knows if copper is going to go down? I right now have aluminum going higher than copper. Whoever heard of that? So, yeah, not pulling a TCT tray cable number four for something that pulls 32 to 40 amps is ridiculous. Anyways, guys, use common sense in the trade. Six gauge is good. Definitely would run 50 amps on this, no doubt, every day. Um, and most important, look at how much juice is in your panel. Again, you want to have, my opinion, about 125 amps to your home. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully, I didn't make anybody really mad here. But again, they're guys, electricians use common sense. And please just take care of each other. Make sure you can get a fish tape through that flex later. All right, bye.